I don't mind the slow down anymore. Don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. Don't mind selling out or playing cover song. Just as long as friends and family sing along. And I don't need more money or a faster car, no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home. And then I'll never have to face my nights alone. Cause in my heart I hear speak. And on my face I feel you breathe. Next to me, to by land, by air, by sea. And that is how it's supposed to be. Onward and upward, literally in the Solomon Ultra Glide into studio. There it is. Oh, love the red, white, and blue colorway, Solomon. Thanks for sending this along for testing. Oh, my, my. We got a good score coming at you for that early score. Not a full review, okay? And I do believe it's going to go to 50 miles. Might take a little bit, but I do believe by the end of, I'm going to say the end of July, early August, I bet we get it to 50. But here we go, 20 miles with 5,000 feet of vertical on Grays and Tories, okay? That was the first run in the Solomon Ultra Glide. We're looking at a neutral. Okay, let's do the twist test, yeah. It's, it's dancing pretty good, everyone. We'll go loosey-goosey on this guy. Yeah, even maybe more so than the Nike Wild Horse 7, just so you know, which I'm also testing right now. Six millimeter drop from heel to toe, 32 and 26. There you go. Women's size 8, men's size 9, and in my size, you know what? We'll start with grams first, 260 grams. Pop it over to ounces. I just saw 9.2 ounces. There's my score, 8.25 out of 10. Great weight for the ultra glide thus far we'll uh we'll get you more thoughts on the weight here in a minute we're looking at a mono mesh with an incredible overlay through the toe box come back to that in a second fully gusseted okay my only oh I did, 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 kind of fully yeah no 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 more semi gusseted uh sam we're gonna go semi gusseted really my only drawback for the ultra glide is the tongue pocket. So as you know, Solomon has a non-traditional lacing system with this cinch down. I always forget the name of the uh, lacing system, but it cinches down there and then this tucks into that pocket. And it's just a little hard to get it tucked all in there. You got to work at it a little bit. That is really my only drawback. And yes, it's a pretty stout, okay, yeah, fairly stout heel counter. All right, overall, very great lockdown through the, actually there's my lockdown score, okay. Great lockdown through the heel pocket. Just the right amount of padding on the top of the foot. Actually, I will say the Wild Horse 7 from Nike is the only other shoe, trail shoe I've tested as of late with a better tongue with respect to the top of the tongue and the laces laying on top of your foot. But overall, score for the upper, once again, there it is, getting into the eights. And all right, let's just mention it right now. This overlay, I mean, I was in the grit, in the grime, going up the 14ers of Colorado. No rocks, no debris, really no even trail dust. Actually, well, you, you know, it's been raining a lot in Colorado, so that keeps the dust down a little bit, but that can be an issue as well if you're out there for hours and hours and hours where, you know, where you take your foot out of the, out of the uh, shoe and your sock is just caked in, in trail dust. And over time, that can get a little irritating if you're not careful. So no issues at all with anything coming through that toe box. Amazing overlay. I just can't even tie... It's just, I can tell they were paying attention. I'm shocked that the shoe does not weigh more based on just how much overlay is happening there in the toe box, in a nice toe cap. Ooh, oh. <laughs> who's kicked a rock or a root hard with your toe? Hopefully you didn't fall down in 2021. I haven't done a bad one yet, but I it does not feel good when you do it. This is stout. This is amazing. Great job on the toe cap. I never talk about the toe cap, but this is the toe cap right there at the front of the shoe, which is kind of critical for trail running. There you go, moving on to the Energy Surge midsole. It's an EVA and Olefin combination, and the midsole has this curved geometry, okay? Kind of that rocker geometry a little bit, which just helps you feel like you're almost, I don't wanna say floating over the trails, but it just is a really incredible ride. And I'm just, okay, let's do it, here we go. 
Durometer. I mean, Solomon. I mean, <laughs> everyone. They're listening. They're, I don't want to say they're coming around, and I don't want to feel like I'm in charge of Solomon. Like Solomon's in charge of But I got to say, thank you, Solomon. I mean, the, the big issue with Solomon in the past has just been a, a firm, hard, harder ride, and some people prefer that, okay? I feel like the Europeans kind of prefer that sometimes. I don't know. But for me in, in America, I and, I and the red, white, and blue uh, Ultra Glide, just a little forgiveness underfoot. It's just so nice especially when you're putting 20 miles into the shoe. So bottom line, there's my ride and energy return score. Unbelievable. This is an amazing midsole. So much so, I think you could, well, I'll, I guess I'll say how you'll use it in a minute. I, I love it, okay? Overall score for the midsole ride, or for the midsole, there it is on your screen. It's all across the board, feeling so good. Like my legs just did not feel beat up after 20 miles and 5,000 feet of vertical gain. They didn't feel beat up at all. All right, onto that Contra Grip outsole, all right? Joseph and I were having a conversation uh, just not too long ago out there on the 14ers. We were running up the mountains, and we were talking about, you know, we talk about all sorts of things out there on the mountain. One of the topics that came up and we talked about for a good three, four, or five minutes was lug depth, all right? And how it's a balance of not having lugs that are too deep uh, but having lugs that are deep enough, depending on the trails you're running on, and this lug depth, I believe we're looking at, yeah, four millimeters, uh, because you can trip, you can trip yourself if the lugs are too deep, and you catch your toe, and it's not fun to fall when you're going fast downhill. Trust me, both Joseph and I have done it way too many times out there on the 14ers, so Solomon, amazing outsole, just the right amount, and I'm going to say, you could almost put this... Yeah, I'm going to say in the commuter category. Yes, yes, yes. Based on this outsole. So anyway, there's my score. Solid score for the outsole. Now the fit, true to size. Okay. For me, a little bit of a wider toe box. Just a little bit. Solomon isn't known for wide. But for me, I just noticed that the compared to Solomon's of the past, it just felt like there was a little more space in there. Um, anyway, seven and a half standard score for the fit. And again, solid fit um, and lockdown through that heel counter. Psh, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna say narrow through the uh, midfoot nor the heel. Comfort score, eight out of 10, mostly because of the midsole ride. Positive is that durometer on the midsole. Drawback, if, if the drawback is ever connected to the shoelaces, that's a good sign for the shoe, and it is the fact that it was just hard to get this into the pocket, uh, to stuff the shoelace into the pot. Like, that's if that's my only, I mean, I was trying to think of another drawback, but I just couldn't come up with one. So, again, that's a good sign for this shoe. Durability prediction, 350 to 450. All right, I think, mm, actually, yeah, please do send photos, especially of the midsole creasing after 300 miles. I predict that this midsole is going to break down a little quicker compared to Solomon's of the past, which in, for me is okay because the ride is just a little softer under step. Price point, 140, eight out of 10 for a daily trainer. And I am putting this in the daily trainer category, but also up tempo, up tempo daily trainer because of the weight. All right, and, and I'll mix in if you just want to buy one shoe, tweener alert, tweener alert, here we go, get the siren going. If you just want to buy one shoe for training, and then you just want to wear the same shoe for your race, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, oh, I'll say half marathon, but I really, I would say, uh, you know, trail races above, let's say like 25K, so marathon, and I would even say 50K. I think you're going to see this shoe on the feet of quite a few people moving forward out there in trail races. I mean, is it the EVO Speed Goat? No, it's uh, it's about, I think it's about an ounce and a half heavier, but is, in the, is it in the Speed Goat 4 category, 100%, uh, but it's definitely gonna show up on the feet of people racing, because it's not crazy heavy. It's actually not bad at all, 9.2, 9.3 ounces in my size. Other shoes to buy, like the Brooks Catamount, okay? Or, I know there's a little bit of a stretch, the Hoka Torrent 2, because that's quite a bit uh, lighter than this guy. Um, actually, the Torrent 2 is another great option for trail racing. Ultra Lone Peak 5, and then even, I mean, like the Nike Terra Kiger 7, which is Nike's trail 
racing shoe. Solomon Ultra Glide quick specs on your screen. The Mono Mesh Energy Surge, $140. Early score, and I do believe we'll get it to 50 at some point. Eight out of 10, right on the nose. 8.0, right on the nose. Anything over eight is a great, great score for me here in the studio. And I'm just so excited. So Solomon, thank you. I don't know. I don't know if they're, they're not just listening to me. They're listening to everybody in the collective voice. When you share your thoughts down below and yes, question of the day, uh, what is your, what has been your favorite Solomon shoe road or trail in 2021 and why? Okay. That's the question of the day. I know Solomon, uh, sometimes watches the, the vlogs and the shoe reviews, but I do know like it's all, it's more important to go down below and read the comments to just to see what's the general consensus around shoes. And this shoe is shipping now. Okay. So a lot other people have been wearing this shoe as of late comment of the day going out to Christopher Williams from the vlog where I'm testing out the ultra glide. Christopher, you say I'm usually up at 4 a.m. to do my runs. There's something satisfying about getting in the run before the day has a chance to catch you. So well said, I couldn't agree more. And I'm really enjoying, it's harder in the winter. You know, it's colder, it's darker, just harder mentally, but oh, in the summer, man, the f I'm doing it right now. I'm going to bed at nine. Actually, it's not 9.30 anymore, it's nine. Going to bed at nine, waking up at four, and rock and roll, okay? And yeah, I almost, I basically have to in order to drive to the mountains, run, film, drive back, make the vlog, get it done. So anyway, Christopher, you get the comment of the day. We're thinking alike. All right, we will toss it to the Solomon running shoe playlist. Right there, right there. It's getting bigger. That, that playlist is getting bigger. All right, Solomon running shoe playlist. Onward and upward. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you too tomorrow.